Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, the downside of discounting. They're a gift for cost-conscious consumers, but at the same time, a curse for local clothing boutiques. Profit-eating discounts came early and often this holiday shopping season, and they have hit hard independent retailers who say that a bargain mindset may be becoming a permanent problem for them. These small stores have been struggling for some time, hurt by high rents, big chains, and the drop in spending during the recession. All of that contributing to the closure of some well-known high-end Chicago boutiques like Ultimo on Oak Street and Jake's Two Locations. Extreme discounting from department stores, daily deal emails, and even luxury online shopping sites like Guild Group could be the last straws for some boutiques. They always say that they can't really go much above 20% off without really taking a huge hit and taking a loss, whereas a lot of these big stores, you know, like Gap and J. Crew and other places, and they can easily slash 50% and still be making a profit. We picked it back up with different patterns for the fall. Tracy Glabowski opened Serato Boutique in Lakeview last May. With holiday dresses still on the rack a week before Christmas, she's now offering 20% off between now and December 24th. Being a new business, it's really hard to just jump in and um, mark things down and compete with those big box discounts. Um, I, I can't. I don't want people to only be able to shop on discounts. I want to be affordable so that people don't have to rely on those discounts. Glabowski, like other retailers, is doing more than markdowns. She offered 15% off to shoppers who donated a gently used sweater or coat. She also had a 12 days of shopping special with some modest discounts, but with other extras like cookies, cocktails, and designer meet and greets. About 90% of my inventory is designed and made here locally, so Neiman Marcus doesn't have that. It's really special, it's unique. That's something that some of those big mass retailers can't do, and there's just a personalization um, of knowing that it was designed here in the city and not everybody is going to be walking around in that same holiday dress this season. The hunt for a deal is nothing new, but all this redlining is coming at a critical time, just as recession-stung consumers finally started shopping again. The National Retail Federation recently raised its holiday forecast, saying sales may rise 3.3 percent. That's up from an initial outlook of 2.3 percent. Nationwide consumer confidence last month rose to the highest level in five months as more Americans are starting to feel better about the job market and the economy in general. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes and ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.